What's up, Film Jammers? This week, we're checking out a brand new light that I'm quite fond of, the GVM T20R. It's an RGB wand light that has effects built in. It's lightweight, it's battery powered, and the price is right. Today, we're gonna show you some creative ways to use it on set. Magic wand light. Activate. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Film Let's check out a scene we filmed using only two of these wand lights. Popcorn, please. You shouldn't be taking what isn't yours, Mr. Jans. Now you can give it to me. Or you can die. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? You are pathetic. So we lit the scene using only two of the T20R lights. We put one light overhead of our talent and we used the broken bulb effect setting. We shot the second wand light through a window in RGB mode in a blue hue. We filmed the scene using just one battery on each wand light and we had plenty of juice left over after filming. Savory, never salty. Now we've reviewed another wand style LED light, which I'll include a link to above, but it didn't have RGB or effects. These come in really handy when getting creative. And to me, this is a big upgrade. The GVM T20R has a really interesting design with its two sided panel. One side of the light has bicolor LEDs for maximum color accuracy. The other side of the light has RGB LEDs for saturated colors and effects modes, hues. If Hugh Grant and Hugh Jackman we're gonna buy a light. This might be it. The T20R wand light includes eight different types of effects or scene modes, including cop car, lightning, candle, party, TV, bad bulb, disco, and paparazzi. These effect settings aren't quite as customizable as I would have liked them to be, but they do provide some pretty interesting options for filming. And for the price, they're pretty hard to beat. Wand lights have a lot of different uses. They're portable, you can get creative with them, they're battery powered. Personally, I like to use wand lights when I'm shooting products or if I wanna create a unique moving light shot. Using the T20R handheld makes it easy to add dynamic lighting to your shots, sort of like this. You can also use it for still photography to create interesting long exposure type shots. For this shot, we set our wand light to RGB party mode and we simply waved it around in a dark room. Make sure to set your shutter speed to around eight seconds to allow that long exposure to capture all of the light movement. And you can create photos like these. Ooh, does that spell film jams? All right, well, let's check out another scene that we filmed using only two of these lights. All right, I'm into the KGB database now. Yeah, I need help to my... Hello? Oh. Vladimir wants to play? Okay. In this scene, we positioned one of the wand lights overhead of our talent and we set it to 3200 degrees Kelvin. The second wand light was used in cop car effect mode. Again, the two wand lights were literally the only lights used to light these scenes. And they were both running on the same batteries as the first scene we filmed. No recharge necessary. The T20R wand light can be powered using standard Sony NP batteries or using a power adapter, which is not included. The wand draws a solid 20 watts of power, which is just 10 watts less than a four foot non-light Pavo tube. The non-lights also have their batteries integrated into the tubes and they're not changeable on set. Whereas with the RGB wand, you can swap the Sony NP style batteries out on set and keep filming. If you're not planning to handhold these RGB wand lights, you can also mount them to a light stand with a quarter 20 screw. 
They actually have quarter 20 screws on the top and bottom of the lights. And we actually mounted one light on top of the other one light. So crazy. To control the T20R, there's an integrated touch interface that you can use to select any of the 360 color hues or the eight different effects modes. These are viewed on an OLED display. The interface is easy to use and I feel like promotes being creative on set. Look, Ma, I'm creating unique films with my RGB light. So how much these mamas cost? Well, the GVM T20R lights cost $160 on Amazon, but they often have coupons. We picked up two of them at that price, and I feel like they're perfect for indie filmmaking and run and gun style shooting. So when you buy the light, you get a nice little kit. What's included? Well, you get the GVM RGB T20R LED light wand, an NP battery, an NP battery charger, and a nice carry bag for everything. Not a bad little setup. There are two minor things I'd like to see improved in the next version of these lights. When we were hand holding the lights and moving them around a lot, the battery did fall off a bit too easily in my opinion. We ended up gaff taping it on there to keep it secure and it didn't really become that big of an issue, but maybe they could add a lock or something a little more secure in the future. The other thing we noted was the control dial can be a little bit sticky when you access the menu. After using the lights a bit, I did get used to it, but I think it's something that can maybe be improved in the next version. Overall, for the price though, these lights do things that typically cost hundreds of dollars more. My Pavo tubes were $400 each, and these lights are only just over $100 per light. That's a lot of extra pesos for pina coladas. Hmm. If you're looking to add some RGB or effects lights to your kit, I think the T20Rs are a great place to start. You'll need to spend a lot more money to get features that these lights include, including effects modes, RGB, and dedicated LEDs for tungsten and daylight. For the size, they're very bright and they lasted almost all day on just one battery. We put some links below if you'd like to buy them or check them out. And if you have another favorite LED wand light, let us know down in the comments. I'm Christian with Film Jams and we'll see you next week. Magic wand light, out. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Hugh Jackman, Hugh Hefner, and Hugh Grant all walk into heaven. God says, what would you like for Christmas? And Hugh Jackman goes, I'll have a Hugh light. And God says, this is going to be huge. Actually, that was Donald Trump. He was there too.